Hey, hey, it's Wednesday. <laughs> so we just finished our um, master's and self-made mind and body call. And it was kind of a fun call because obviously those of us who are in the United States are coming off of our first um, holiday gathering. And we did a lot of work um, kind of leading up to that gathering and understanding how important it is to make decisions so that you feel in control. Most people who are really struggling with a problem or haven't had a lot of success at achieving a goal feel out of control. And so we talked a lot. We talked in depth about the power of making a decision and that one little tiny first step in our system is everything because when you make a decision you now feel a sense of self-control and so i was giving the example of the decision that i made yesterday it was i'm making a decision to i'm deciding to decide every single day i'm going to write down what it is that I decide today. And yesterday here in Minnesota, it snowed to beat the banshees. <laughs> so I decided I wasn't gonna go anywhere. I had a couple appointments outside the house and I made the decision. I decided to make a decision and like my reasons behind it so that I wasn't waffling back and forth and wasting all sorts of time and energy and momentum. Like I just made that decision, but I did it with intention. And there lies the difference. So many of us are like, we're just going to roll with the punches, right? And we'll play it by ear. Like, no, I want you to decide that you are making a decision every single day and then write that decision down at the top of whatever it is that you work from. So making the decision to decide every single day is the first step. It's a quantum leap towards feeling self-control, which is the solution to solving all of your problems and achieving all of your goals. So we started off with masters. Rhonda, any sorts of insights or um, comments on that call? Oh, that call is always rich with content. It's so funny. And I just love the way the, the gals and the, the just everybody that's on there is in this community and they're teasing each other yet they're supporting each other through what they're bringing up on you know what happens so you would encourage them to come up with a doable holiday plan and at first everybody's like oh holiday doable holiday plan that has to do with what i'm going to eat what i'm going to drink when and it really wasn't about that it was more about how to handle those life situations at any kind of a holiday for whatever may come up such as um, how do you handle aging parents at a holiday? So if you're supposed to be in the kitchen, who, who takes care of them? Um, how do you handle, maybe you've got um, an adult child who's bringing a significant other for the first time. So things like that. Um, people that are chronically late when you know that you've got this big meal that's going to be coming out of the oven at a certain time and they're always late. What do you do and how do you handle your emotions, your feelings around that? And you, you coach them through that. Yeah. Yeah. We simply have a system. And that is my go-to thought that I feel very equipped because I use this system. It is my self-operating system that I run my life from. So I know that any problem I come up against, it doesn't mean I don't have problems. And it doesn't mean that I don't struggle achieving goals. Of course I do. But the journey is so enjoyable because the journey is me feeling equipped, me feeling confident, me feeling control, and me operating from a thought that every single hiccup, every single obstacle is an opportunity for me to kind of learn from so that I can iterate the next time that happens. And I don't have to make it into be a, you know, a big darn deal. It's just something that I know better and I can do better next time. So I make just as many mistakes and I have just as many problems and I have tons of goals, but I will tell you that the journey to getting to the other side is so enjoyable because I have this very simple system that I operate from. And it all starts at the level of your mind. And if you're sitting there listening to this and you're like, oh, that's so woo woo, 
you know, that's a thought that I promise you is not serving you. It doesn't have you like really thinking about considering how your life could be different. You're just excusing, right? The, the actual resources that could create the change that you so desperately want. So um, yeah, the master's call was awesome. It is a group of people who have a goal that are progressing towards that goal with consistency um, every single day. And a lot of their goals are more relationship based, more professional based. So um, this system is absolutely applicable to everything in your entire life. There is no circumstance that this system does not very effectively get you through. Um, okay. Self-made mind and body. Okay. So self-made mind and body. These are our students that are going through um, our weight loss program. And the interesting thing that about it that comes up when we have calls, our Zoom calls on Wednesday is very seldom do they ever ask any questions about, you know, what to do for what kind of food they should eat, how long they should fat, any, any of that. It usually has something to do with you know, what they're thinking or their frustration. And today it was awesome because um, I think that this kind of um, resonated with a lot of people on the call is we have overachievers that are in this call and they're like, you know, I've got this long to-do list and I know I'm going to get it done, but I'm white knuckling my way through because darn it, I'm going to check every box on that list. And, and so you were able to talk to them about an overachiever is they're basically it's, um, it's fear-based overachievers. Like they're, they have a fear of not completing or not achieving that goal. And so you really were able to coach them through that and help them come with some better thoughts. Yeah. They have a belief that they're operating from that's generating some variation, some iteration of fear. And will they get to the goal? Probably overachievers are called overachievers for a reason. Yeah. They, they cross that finish line more than average, right? More than the average Joe. But the question is, is, you know, what was the experience like? To your point, are they white knuckling their way through it? Is it a grind? Because if that's the case, take weight loss, for example. If if it's a grind and you're white knuckling or willpowering your, your way through it, step by step by step, and you're thinking, I just have to get to the end, you're not feeling equipped. You're feeling like, you know, um, I just have to, right? I, I just, I need to grip my teeth and bear it. Like it's more of a, um, it's more of like a scarcity um, feeling versus an abundant feeling. You want to go through that journey feeling equipped, feeling like you've got the skills to come up against any sort of obstacle, not having to like sit and hope that one doesn't show up. And if it does show up, you're going to have to grit your teeth and bear it. No, like that's never going to make the road to sustainability, like even like possible, like the sustainable results are almost impossible when you are in this like white knuckling um, type feeling. We want you to feel equipped. Like you've got a system that you can always lean into that works a hundred percent of the time. That's science based that you can literally pull out of your back pocket and be like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Here's the steps that I need to follow. And it works every single time. It solves every one of my problems and it assists me in achieving every one of my goals. Um, and that is a totally different mindset than most like high achievers or overachievers have. They're being driven by fear. They're not being driven from like an abundance of knowledge or an abundance of tools. If, I hope that makes sense, but we see that a lot. <laughs> especially, because, especially because you're an overachiever. And so you can definitely resonate with them. Um, oh. I love you gave them just this thought, you know, to ask, are they either winning or are they learning? Um, it's not winning or losing. It's winning or learning. Because when we, 
even if we fail in something that we do, like if we're assessing what we've done, what worked, what didn't, what could we do different? We learn so much more if maybe we failed through it. And right. then, it, you know, with the next step. So it was both were awesome calls. A lot of, lot of good aha moments for these, these people that were in the calls. Yeah, I agree. So your takeaway for all of those who are watching, um, your takeaway is I want you to try on that thought. Like I'm either winning or I'm learning. Like practice that thought like it's your job because that thought will have you feeling curious. You will show up in response to that thought, doing things, behaving in a very organic way. It's not in a box checking way. When you're feeling curious, you're going to go out and like start assessing things that you've done so that you can learn from it. So I want you just to take that away from today's call. Try it on. Practice that thought and see what it gets you. We'll be back next week. Thanks for being here. See you next week.